marvelous, isn't it? The sun shines on those who mine their own, so they say. I'm sorry for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. How long do we have to wait? What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and let everything spoil? I thought Meridian was open to all, Karja. What happened to Ursa has nothing to do with us. Every season, things were worse. The machines were bold. Some Asaram girl applied to the city guard the other day. Amazing. Shadow card, you assassination. This isn't up to their usual standard. Just be patient, and everyone will get in! Eventually. I love this bit. We all have our place in the order of things. Shadow card, you What's it got to do What's going on here? Owen's in there, somewhere. And so's Erend, that other outlander I talked to the night before the proving. 
Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. If this keeps up, I'll be back in among the merchants who suffer. Good luck getting locked down, down on the account of the murder. They say the corruption has spread far across the city. Halt! Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So, you're alive! This, uh, we should celebrate! It drinks on me! We need to talk, alone, and you need to pull together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. And now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. I, uh... I lost someone, too. At the Proving, the man who raised me. His name was Rost. That's terrible. Why is it every time something terrible happens? Everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, so that makes it easier. Yeah, why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Olin. I need to know what he knows. But... he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But... I mean... this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. If your bandits try to get past me, they'll have to fight. Mark my words. So many people here all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. That girl. Is she a
Hey, come back. Olin's place is this way. He spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered. Aaron, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister murdered, and her death unavenged. One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. What did he mean about Ursus murder? Not now. Okay, how are we gonna get in? <clears throat> oh, that was subtle. Here we are, trying not to break anything. No. Other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. The corner of this rug is frayed. And the floor near it is worn. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. I don't think you're getting through that hatch. You said Olin has connections in the royal court. Does he know the Sun King personally? No. He served the court as a scout sometimes and sold ancient trinkets to nobles, but he never had an audience with the king. If you're right and Olin's into something dark, Sun King Avad has nothing to do with it. I'd stake my life on that. Did Olin ever invite you in? Nah. Closest I got was a doorstep to help him home after a night out. We drank a river that night, but I hold it well. U usually. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sober enough, all right? I don't need another lecture. That's not what I meant. I was talking about what happened outside with the crowd. I don't want to talk about that. We're here because of what you said about Olin, so... Do what you need to do. I'll look around. That's what we came for. Call it a day, girl. You're wasting time. Just what I need. Looks big and heavy. Could do a lot of damage if it fell down.
Let's give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? to obey or they'd kill his family. A map. The glyphs show places he visited. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. Here's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. It's the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances, and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you, through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Redridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Redridge Pass, you said? I'll see what I can do.
my house. You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the Liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape, and listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary.
Uh, I've seen better. Don't bother me, Outlander. I don't need a mercenary, I need a miracle. Someone who can tell me who slaughtered my men. I'm a good tracker. Maybe I can help. What happened? Mass murder. That's what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry. Five men murdered? How? Don't know. One was a buddy from before the liberation. We worked this quarry together as slaves for the Mad King. My friend, may he walk forever in the light, knew how to fight. Fiends who did this must have had stealth or numbers. Could machines have killed them? Don't see how. The quarry is fenced and gated, and I've never seen a glint hawk do anything like this. Anything strike you as strange or out of the ordinary? Well, let's see, uh... Oh, yeah. Chunks of corpses. Gushing blood. <sighs> Sorry. Pressure's getting to me. Not used to murder. Nah, no, nothing unusual. Well, except we've been doing a little blasting lately, and Saravad said... No, that's just stupid. You've been using explosives? Sure! Clear away bedrock and get to the good stuff. We do it for a week or so every year. But that's got nothing to do with the dead. They were... torn apart, not blown up. What exactly did Saravad say? Ah, nothing. Kept babbling about a pile of rocks out there. Said he didn't remember it from yesterday. I told him that this here is a quarry where we move rocks all day. So rocks getting moved ain't so surprising, lunkhead. I'll have a look around the quarry. If you think it'll help. Oh, wonderful! Oh, that's nice. Glad I could look for a bit. I've seen this four times already.
Sorry to spoil your fun. Look out below! Perfect.
got anything better to do? Forget about traveling light.
stocking up. Thank you. 